Hello everyone, this is Charlie with HotTipsCentral.com and today I'm going to show you how to update your applications inside the App Store without having to leave to the home screen. Now this is a new feature inside the iOS 5 Beta 6, which was just released today. Uh, so if you're not on the iOS Beta, uh, it's the latest version, you won't be able to do this yet. But this, there's good news, this is a feature coming to you this fall. So how does this work? Well. A little background on the App Store for those of you who have it and don't have it. Normally when you have updates for your apps, in this case I have seven updates, you could either update one at a time by clicking one and just clicking the update button or you can click update all. Now that's the only options you have. You can't mix and match. You can't say I want to update these three but keep these not up to date. Because logically there's no reason to do that and Apple hasn't included that as a feature. but Good news is, though, you can mix and match a little bit easier now without having to go to the home screen. So typically, in the old versions of the iOS, when you decided to update an app and said, we're going to go ahead and just do this one right quick, when you decided to update an app, in this case, uh, Dragon Dictation, um, you would hit update, enter your iTunes password, and it would zoom out to the home screen and you could watch an update watch an icon fill up. And you'd have to wait for that to be done before you could get to the next one, but otherwise that other one would just pause and sit there. That's not gonna happen anymore. Instead, there's two ways to activate this. I'm gonna show you this with the Dragon Dictation app just to do it. So here's this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. And it's going to, you notice it didn't do anything. Here, let's hit it again. Didn't do anything. Huh. Well, if you go out to the home screen, manually, you'll see it actually has started doing something. In fact, it's already loading. It's already doing its thing. It's still doing it. So let's go back to the App Store here. And here it is. And when this update is actually done, this is happening in the background now. It's not, you don't get zoomed out. And as soon as it's done, you can see it switched to installed. So you don't have to zoom out to the App Store. Now, why is this beneficial? Well, it's beneficial because of this reason. Inside the purchased apps here, you can also see every single app you've ever purchased from the App Store. And inside this list, you'll see icons for applications that you currently have on your device. So as I scroll through this list, I'll have stuff from the cloud, stuff from just everywhere, stuff that's already installed. But the updates are going to appear in this as well. They're going to appear in this list too. So here is GD Mobile Plus. And I have an update for this. It's available and it's in this list. And by clicking this, I can click update and you'll see the spinning gear. You may not be able to see it because of my camera, but it is most certainly there. There it is. You'll see a spinning gear. Now this is happening in the background. You do not have to leave. So it's while it's doing it, you can sit there and search for your other uh, updates. So let's go down, found open table. Open table's got an update for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's going to go do its thing in the background too. And so by doing this, you'll see that's already started too. All this stuff is being downloaded and updated without you having to leave the App Store. And so you're able to go and mix and match and pick applications that you want to uh, update very quickly now without, ha without having to wait for one individually. So let's try to find another one. We'll find another one. Uh, find another one. I have a lot of apps that I've purchased. Let's go through this list here. I know there's one more down here somewhere. There it is, okay. This one is for police radio. So there's another update here. And again, I can just go ahead and click this and it will start its update. Now, why is this important? Why would I do that rather than update all? Well, if you're anything like me, you do not like the Facebook app. This is just my example. There's probably dozens of examples like this throughout the App Store in a case where the updated version of an app doesn't work the way you wanted it to, the way you liked it to. And that's true with the Facebook app. The Facebook app is exactly like that. It doesn't work the way I want it to. I want it to work in a different way. And so what I've been doing is updating one at a time rather than updating all of them. And to update them one at a time is very time consuming. It takes a long time to do such things. So. Instead of having to worry about that and having to go to the home screen and sit there and wait for application bubbles to load all the time, I don't have to do that anymore. I could just click the ones I want, close it, put it in my pocket, and move on with my life. 
very, very quick, very easy, and it's in iOS 5 Beta 6. For more information on this and for a full write-up if you want with some screenshots and stuff, visit the link in the description right down there. And at, it's at, at hottips dot, hottipscentral.com. Uh, and yeah, there's a bunch of other information on all this stuff too. See ya.